What is going on, Nightmare Squad? Today, I am actually really excited to get into these because after nearly 10 months, I finally got a lot of my PSA uh, back. I still have one more grouping of cards that are there, um, but really excited to dig into these. So I did open them. However, I didn't look at the grades. Um, so I'm going to kind of put these off to the side and go through these one box at a time. I'm not going to do a big reveal because I think there's like 56 or 52 cards in total. Um, and I know this is going to be a longer video. And I'm going to try uh, to get a price guide down below um, for what the card is going at. So uh, without further ado, here we go. Let's try to get this first one out here. Oh, and we got the Sun and Moon Switch at a Gem Mint 10. Uh, so that is awesome. I'm going to try to also put these in groupings of the, the grades and see which one stacks up. Then we got my boy Marshadow, another great, always a fighting type here, but I like him as a dark type anyway, but uh, Burning Shadows, Gem in 9, so I'm not too bad with that, not too mad at that one. I mean, it always, you know, you're hoping for a 10, but you never know. Then we got the Dangerous Drill, uh, Secret Rare from uh, Sun and Moon Team Up, so we got another 9 with that one. Then we got another secret with Tag Call, Gem Min 10. So really loving that one. Another one from Cosmic Eclipse. Um, I do actually have a few rare, uh, or I shouldn't say rare, but retro cards. I guess they are kind of rare because they're vintage. Um, but two of them are from a friend of mine that I got graded for them. So we'll see their haul. Then we got a Near Mint, Mint 8, uh, Roaring Skies Energy Switch, Secret Rare. So not too good with that one, but... Not going to complain. And then, oh, Ancient Origins, uh, XY, Ancient Origins, Mega Rayquaza, Near Mint, Mint 8. So once again, not not too happy with it, but not too bad. And then another Roaring Skies, Mega Rayquaza, Near Mint, Mint 8. So I know some of these cards, they were pretty much off-center to begin with. So, oh, and that one's a brutal one. We got a 6 here. For a verse seeker with the rolling skies, um, but I know some of these were off center pretty bad. Um, but I just wanted to get them because they're part of the my collection that I really like to just see cards get. And there we go, the breakpoint secret print, Gyarados gem mint or er, nim near mint mint eight. So like I said, there's there's a lot of eights in here so far, but hopefully we can start picking those up here. And then we got the black and white plasma storm hollow. Black Kyrim, Gem Mint 9, so really liking that one. And then, oh, <laughs> that one's a brutal one. We got the uh, Fire Red Leaf Green Gengar EX at a 5. That is, that is brutal. Uh, it's the one thing I kind of wish PSA would give you is kind of what got it to that point. Uh, kind of like how Beckett and CGC can... Uh, with angle or with uh centering surface and all that good stuff and here we go now we got the tens coming in dragon majesty secret rare dragon talon gem mint 10 beautiful card and then oh there we go secret rare from sun and moon base set soul galeo gem mint 10 as well super oh, actually i forgot to turn my light on here so let me let me get this card light up there. There we go. So that is a beautiful card. Gem in 10. And then we got Sun and Moon Field Blower from Guardians Rise and Secret Rare. Mint 9. Not too bad. Some of these are actually starting to stick together. And then from Unbroken Bonds and Secret Rare. Um, our Shadow Machamp. Got another 9 there. Ooh, Beast Ring. I, I actually kind of love this, this artwork on this card. Gem Mint 10, Forbidden Light, Sun and Moon. Amazing card. <laughs> and then we got the uh, the promo from, I believe it was, yeah, Sun and Moon. I think this was in the Requaza box, the big one, yeah. Um, Gem Mint 10, that's awesome. 
Really, really love that card. Love that artwork. And the last one in this box is the full metal or uh, metal goggles from Team Up. Another Gem Mint 9. So not looking too great there with those. But now we got box number two. Still got a few more boxes to go. Like I said, there's quite a few, quite a few cards in there. Like I said, I think there's around 50 or so. So I'm trying to get some of these out here. Hidden Fates, Gem Mint 10, Mount Cornet. Amazing card as well. Loving that card. And then we got <laughs> Unified Minds, Dragonite, Near Mint 7. So kind of running out of a little room here for some of these lower grades. Celestial Storm, Sigur Rare, Stack Attacka, Mint 9. Like I said, these are some... Most of these are going to be Sigur Rare Gold cards. Uh, do you got some vintage cards? Hopefully, somewhere scattered in here. But we got the U-turn board, Mint Nine. So it's looking like the Nines are kind of controlling here. And then we got Reshiram and Zekrom, Sigur Rare from Cosmic Eclipse, another Mint Nine. And then the Burning Shadow Secret Fairy Energy. Oh, I was hoping this would be a 10. Kind of continue with my energy collection with Burning Shadows where I got Fire Energies. At, I got two of them at Gem Mint, or at, yeah, Gem Mint 10. But I know Burning Shadows has been one of those fun sets to get anything centered on. Then we got Mint 9, Team Yell Grunt from Sword and Shield. And then, ooh... Lapras VMAX Gem Mint 10 from Sword and Shield Base. That is amazing. I think that was, that, that was actually the first Hyper Rare I pulled out of a, a booster box for Sword and Shield Base set. Oh, this one hurts a little too. Aether Paradise, Full Art, Near Mint, Mint 8. Another amazing looking card from Hidden Fates. And then we got the 2019 Sun and Moon Lily's Poke Doll from Cosmic Eclipse. Kind of love the Clefairy. Reminds me of, uh, I think it was that episode with Sabrina um, in the TV show. Got that at a mint nine. And trying to get a few more cards out here so they don't get all stuck at the bottom there. So got a few here. So we got the Savelli GX Cosmic Clip Secret Rare 9. Aerodactyl GX from Unified Minds at a mint nine. <laughs> Multi switch from Burning Shadows at a, at a mint nine. And then Lycan Rock Burning Shadows mint nine. So a lot of these cards, like I said, were all hyper rares and better. Um, just trying to get my collection a little better up there with the PSA cards. So sent a lot in. Um, and I'm actually going to probably be sending in some to GX or to CGC here shortly. So we got a Mint 9 Golospod. And actually, then we got the Burning Shadow Secret Golospod at 8. It's not too good there. Oh, this one hurts too. Um, so this is actually the second um, Reshiram break, or Charizard breaks in card that I have from Cosmic Eclipse. I think my other one, I think it was either 8.5 or 9, but check out a future video. I'll, have, I'll compare these two together. Um, and see if I should get this regraded. But that one came in at a 9. And that takes care of box 2. So we got two more boxes to go. Um, I think there's only 24. Because they actually put numbers on these boxes. Which is kind of sweet to show you how many you actually have in there. These ones appear to be really stuck in there. So I'm just going to grab a few here. And boom. Top of Bulu coming through. Hidden Fates, Gem Mint 10. Loving that card. Love those cold secret rares. And then another big hitter, Umbreon GX, Gem Mint 10. One of my favorites and just an overall beautiful card. Hits keep coming, boys and girls. Gem Mint 10, Mewtwo GX. Looking beautiful. Love that green tail. Can't believe that one. And as soon as the highs get high, we get a low card right here. Near Mint Mint. Eight for the Ultra Prism Secret Clayceon. 
So not the greatest, but I mean, it's it's still an eight. It's not like it's a three, two, or one. Then we got a Wishy Washy GX from Guardians Rising at a mint nine. I do kind of actually like that artwork. I just kind of wish you would see like all the other little Pokemon inside Washy Washy, but or Wishy Washy, but yeah, what can you do? And then the birds, Zapdos, Articuno, Moltres, Gem Mint Ten, Hidden Fates. Amazing card as well. Really loving that one. I'm gonna just take the rest of these out and just kind of put them here. Try and grab them one at a time here. Primal Clash Switch card, Secret Rare, Gem Mint Nine. Cosmic Eclipse Power Plant Gem Mint 10. There we go. Loving those full art turning cards, gold cards, secret rares, however you want to state them. Loving them in a 10. And then <laughs> Lost Thunder near mint 7. So that one that one definitely hurts a little. And then we got Tatene. Unbroken Bond, Secret Rare, Gem Mint or uh, Near Mint 7. So that one hurts a little. So I think we're starting to get into some of the lower graded cards because it seems to be the little trend we got here but now we got my mega gengar ex hollow from phantom forces at a at a near mint mint eight so i will definitely take that one hoping for a 10 with that but what can you do right then from hidden fates gold tapu lili we got a nine couldn't join the other tapu with a 10 but what can you do however this tapu coco gem mint 10 hidden fates joins their other tapu so that's an amazing card as well like i said i don't know what it is i think it's that red mixed in with the gold that really kind of makes them shine but then you got the red with the blue with tapu finny obviously being a water type so that kind of makes a little more sense with that one but got that in gem in 10 as well amazing card oh mega houndoom this is one of my favorites because it always reminds me of one of my dogs um but we got that in the near mint seven And then we got Breakthrough, Mewtwo EX. Came in at an 8. Wish it would be a little higher, but once again, can't complain. Still, still a decent grade. And then we got another Mega Mewtwo EX from Breakthrough at a 9, so really can't complain there. And we got one of our Vintage cards back. This one really hurts. 2000 Pokemon, Team Rocket, Dark Charizard, and Hollow. Excellent Mint, 6. So... Not not the not the greatest, but not the worst. Um, still happy that it's actually encapsulated now too, because it'll stop me from damaging the card any further. Um, so I really like that. So now we only got six cards to go, and I believe these were actually the first in my listing. So these are going to be two of my friends' cards I submitted. Submitted the Shadowless Chansey Hollow. Got an excellent mint six. So I'm going to put these ones off to the side so I don't get them enclosed. And then the man, the, or I shouldn't say the man, I guess. It's not a first edition, but still a near mint 7 uh, Charizard from 1999 base set. Amazing card. Wish it could have came in a better grade for him, but still one of those nice cards to have encapsulated. And then we got Primal Groudon EX from Primal Clash. Near mint, mint eight, so not too bad there. And then 2015 Lugia from Ancient Origins, gem mint nine. I mean, that is an amazing full art card. Love that card so much. Wish it would have came in a 10, but once again, we all wish our cards would come in perfect, but what can you do? Then we got Hoopa from Ancient, Ori Ancient Origins. Um, granted, yeah, he's got the crazy video or movie out with hoopa where it says hoopa way too much and kind of annoys you but one of my favorite characters and then the final card we got a mega agron coming in at a near mint mint eight from primal clash kind of love i do actually kind of miss seeing a lot of these cards with the, the asian writing um because i can never tell if it's japanese or chinese or anything like that but amazing card there as well all right, guys, so that was my first submission. I know I got another one sitting there. Um, 
that one was submitted like two weeks after this one was, so hopefully it's not there for almost a year because I submitted these back in May um, last year. So like I said, almost 10 months for this one to come back. But really love love this. So if you guys want to see this more often, let me know. Um, or if you want to kind of see the ones I've already submitted to, but those will probably show up in a future episode of um, my collection. So don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell as I post videos every Monday, Friday at 6 p.m. Central Time. And once again, guys, thank you for hanging out. I know it was a little longer of a video, but really appreciate it. Uh, leave a comment below which card you think is the best card I have out of this entire lot. And I'd love to hear. Bye, guys.